at the new Columbia Studios, formerly the Metro Goldwyn Mayor Rock, a very special celebration is taking place. Angela Lansbury is hosting a party for her friends, their children, and their grandchildren. Today's celebration is in honor of the 50th birthday of the most beloved film ever made, The Wizard of Oz. This gathering of generations proves the timelessness of the movie. Each year, the annual showing attracts millions of new fans across America, as well as people who've been fans of The Wizard of Oz from the very beginning. I'm sure that most everybody in the world felt when they saw Wizard of Oz for the first time that it was a major event in their lives. It certainly was for me. Now, of course, I'm in a curious kind of way reliving the whole great adventure because I have my seven-year-old granddaughter here with me to see it. The Wizard of Oz was the very first film I ever saw, and uh, it's still my favorite picture. But this, this picture, I think, it was a wonderful thing for the whole uh, fantasy world because it, it gave us a complete fantasy world and opened the way for other filmmakers to do entire movies uh, set in a fantasy world. Everybody agrees that The Wizard of Oz is a great movie, but I think people tend to take it for granted somehow. It's as if it's always been there. It's a part of our lives, but I think it's a part of our lives because it's buried so deep in our consciousness. We all love it. We all know it by heart. And it really is the kind of movie that burrows deep within you. Very few movies do that. I gotta tell you, I can't even imagine accomplishing what these people accomplished in this film with the kind of makeup and costumes that they had to wear. The dynamics they got in their performances, the, the expressions they got on their face with all of this stuff. It, it's, it's wonderful. I, I would be so proud if I ever carried something like that off. But they were just incredible, every single one of them. The Wizard of Oz was really an inspiring film for me because as a little girl, I remember watching it and thinking that as a little girl, I could have dreams just like Dorothy's. And ever since then, growing up and now being a woman, I'm still that little girl inside, full of dreams, dreams to come true. Why do I like The Wizard of Oz? Well, I guess it's because, 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 because of the wonderful things he does. Hey, I gotta run. I'm off to see The Wizard, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, and young ladies and gentlemen, the enchantment of The Wizard of Oz is about to touch you. This movie is the most seen film of all time. It's a national treasure, and no wonder. Every time I watch it, I discover something fascinating that I hadn't noticed before. I hope this magic happens for you this evening. Calling all trainers. You are summoned to the greatest challenge ever. Prepare to witness the rarest and most powerful of all. This fall, training is over and the ultimate showdown begins. Kids WB presents... The first Pokemon movie ever. Catch it November 12th. Pikachu! Only in theaters. Shiloh! Shiloh. The beagle the whole world fell in love with is back in Shiloh 2. Shiloh's like a part of my family, and I do anything to make sure he doesn't get hurt. Judd still thinks the dog is his. No, sir. Shallow's mine and Jed knows it. Man's got a right to protect his property. Tell your kid I want my dog back. I want you as far away from Judd Travis as you can get. We had a deal, Shallow. Why can't you just let it go? No! You're not going after my dog! You want to stop all this fighting? You can't expect Judd to act in a friendly way. It's not his nature. Experience the magic of the year's most heartwarming family film. Do you think a person can ever change? Once they're mean, are they mean forever? A little kindness can change man and beast. You're mine, for as long as you live. I promise you that. You'll never forget the courage when a boy risks everything to turn an enemy into a friend. Shiloh 2. 
Now available from Warner Home Video. Coming this fall, mysteries as old as mankind, witchcraft, ghosts, talking dogs. Wrong? Where? Coming to video fall 1999. It's the all new, fully animated movie, Scooby Doo and the Witch's Ghost. <laughs> Look for this winter's coolest video. When you play that, no matter where I am, I can hear it. Sometimes a promise can take on a life of its own. I'm home. Dad's the snowman. <gasps> no. Michael Keaton is Jack Frost. Get him! What's going on? Oh, nothing. A father who gets a second chance to be the world's coolest dad. You know, sometimes it's good to have a big butt. Jack Frost. Coming to video this November. Two nights ago, a SATCOM radar detected an unidentified object entering Earth's atmosphere. This is the greatest discovery since television or something. Warner Brothers Family Entertainment presents... Benzai! The story of a young boy... ...and a giant from another world. Now, why would you tell your mom about a giant robot? Mom! A little privacy! Sorry. Who became a hero on this one. We gotta hide! Go to Cobra! Cobra, no! There's a kid in his hand! You can fly! You can fly! The Iron Giant. Coming soon to DVD and video cassette. Oh, nice. The Warner girl and the Warner boys. They're gathered around in the village square. They say there's something way out there. Something weird and something strange. In a tale that captures your imagination. What is that? Haven't you heard? There's no such thing. It's too absurd. Could well be, but we just don't know. We'll soon find out because we're going to go to, to the wishing star, to the wishing star. And something weird and so bizarre it fell to away from way up far. They're on their way to the wishing star. I'm going to get to the wishing star. We're doing really good so far. Out of my way, whoever you are. Steven Spielberg presents The Animaniacs in their first full-length feature. Wacko's Wish, coming January 2000. Maybe we should have kept this our little secret. Somewhere Beginning today, the family trip will never be the same. The silhouette premiere by Oldsmobile. The first minivan with an audio-video entertainment system built right in. Start enjoying the trip. The silhouette premiere. Only from Oldsmobile. I hope you're enjoying The Wizard of Oz. When we return, remember this. Jack Haley couldn't sit down in his stiff tin man outfit. To rest, he had to lean against an oversized ironing board. Ray Bolger's scarecrow makeup made his skin so raw that at the end of the day, his face would bleed. And Bert Lars' lion costume was extremely hot and heavy. Constantly perspiring, Lars said it was like walking around inside a wet mattress. We'll share many other stories about the making of Oz after our movie. I'll see you soon. Please stay tuned after the feature presentation for a special behind-the-scenes look at the making of The Wizard of Oz.
she hurt you? She tried to, didn't she? Come on, we'll go tell Uncle Henry and Auntie Em. Come on. Come on.